Man, we have some weird dreams. This is... The area is covered in thick fog. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Oh, I just noticed the, the quote-unquote TV static effect. That's really cool. I don't think that was there before either. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. This looks a lot better now, too. Oh, this just looks really nice. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. Whoa. You sent someone ahead. Will you continue? No. <laughs> Yikes. So, you are the one pursuing me. <laughs> Try all you like. Yay, tutorial fight. Okay. Um, so as you can see here, we have a lot of stuff. What is the rush button? Is rush square? It's triangle. Rush is triangle. <laughs> hmm, seems that you can see a little despite the fog. Rush will come in handy later on. Um, we cannot use pretty much all of the important stuff. Um, oh! That's right, we do have these special abilities. How do I... Okay. Interesting. So we will get an explanation as to what I just did later on. I see. Indeed. That is very interesting information. But, you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. <laughs> Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. No. Will we meet again? At a place other than here. <laughs> I look forward to it. I'm losing consciousness. Even though we're asleep? You can hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready! It's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Oh, she made breakfast for us. Good morning. Good morning, Nanako. Oh. Okay. Let's eat. Did you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Nanako seems somewhat restless. You decided to head to school with Nanako. Oh, she's the best. She don't even know us and she made us breakfast. 11 out of 10. School zone Samagawa floodplain. Oh, look at her little umbrella. You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye! Man, she's in no rush to go to school. <laughs> school zone. Intersection in front of the school. Oh. Ah! 
<sighs> oh, he's my favorite. That looked painful. You should leave him be. Oh. You've arrived at the main gates of Yasugami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? Talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut your traps! <laughs> what a look. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring, doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. Gross. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. Excuse me? And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. You calling me a loser? <laughs> My courage increased. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take that, asshole. <laughs> That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Mm-hmm. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Aw, oh, live journal. Mr. Moroka goes on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. You can hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Oh wow, swarmed already. Attention all teachers. Oof. Ooh, that's... That's rough on the ears. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? 
Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw, uh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Of course. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Um, Miss Satanaka, this was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry, it was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya, thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Ah! Yukiko-san, are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be. <laughs> oh, he's having a rough day. Probably cracked it when he crashed his bike. You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? What? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. Tap? <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? Wow. Wow. This game's just full of colorful characters, huh? I- I'm not going. Fine! What- what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yeah, super creepy. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. 
Whoa, you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. <laughs> That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Uh, Yukiko has so much promise to have so much character, and oh. then she really doesn't. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? I think so, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I knew it! Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? <laughs> it's kind of a rude thing to say about your friend. Come on, stop it. You shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, GA. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? We're just passing by. Gotta get home. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? Yeah, he's my uncle. I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Aww. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> <sighs> go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. <laughs> hmm. Oh no, the chat box. The chat box is a little broken. Hold on. 
Oh shoot, I can't fix it right now. Alright, I'll fix that in a second. Um, <laughs> I don't know if... I don't know if Craig is being... Like, facetious or not. You've played this game before. Oh, the two headed off. You decided to head away from the crime scene. Oh, yeah! Oh my gosh, it's over... This overworld screen. Um, there's no point in going back home. Uh, let's go to the central shopping district. Even though we were told to go home. We're rebels, you can't tell me what to do. You're not my dad! Not gonna lie, I completely forgot what we were doing. <laughs> oh, okay, right. We're exploring our environment. You're a student in Yasugami. You should have gotten an order to go home from school today. Go on, go home. Go on, go home. Oh yeah, we saw that. Can I buy books yet? Wait, do I have money? I don't think I have money. There's a bit of a ruckus. There's a lot of police officers. What's going on? Huh? A crime? Really? Yay, an emergency! Now I don't have to go back to work! Oof, there are two kinds of people, and he's the other kind, huh? I've been hearing sirens all day today. I was getting such a great sleep, but they woke me up! Oh, we can go this way now. Oh my gosh, the music in this game is so freaking good. There you go. I have a blanket. That's basically like my literal safety blanket. Okay, there we go. Oh, look, it's Mayumi? Suzuki? <clears throat> There's a bulletin board. Oh, look at job openings. Hell yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. Let's look at the poster. Samagawa Bojo, Misuzu Hiragi. It's a poster of a famous Enka singer. Did they tell you to school? You're supposed to head straight home. Still, where did the store's owner go? I can't leave here until I've talked to him. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Pharmacy. Sign says Nakanishi drugs, but the shutters are closed. There's a note saying the shop is closed. Oh. It's a store, but the shutters are closed. Go and talk to everybody. I heard that there was some kind of incident. I can't believe that could happen in a small town like ours. I'm so scared, I don't even want to be outside. You should get home quickly, too. Yes, that's right. I'm in front of the store owned by the parents. Yes, I understand. I'll get to it now. Huh? No, no. Like I explained already. Beverage vending machine with a roulette game. However, all the drinks are sold out. There's nothing for you to buy. Konishi Liquors. It's a liquor store. Cases of various alcohols are stacked on top of each other. Konishi, eh? It's a bicycle store, but the shutters are closed. Let's just walk into oncoming traffic. <laughs> no, okay. I don't recall cars going back and forth either. They must have added that. Yay! Oh, hey, there's a lot more people here. Can I talk to them? It's a little unbelievable to see so many policemen in this town. This has never happened before. I heard that there was some kind of incident? Oh. Oh, wow, he he really traveled down here, huh? Tatsuhime Shrine. A place we will also frequent uh, quite a bit. Oof. Oh, that's right! So this was added, um, the Yashiro Shrine was added in Persona 4 Golden. It's a small shrine, there's a fortune box sitting there, but there's nothing inside. Um, basically what we'll be doing is paying to play in a sense. This makes it easier to kind of 100% on your first run or two. Um, we won't be dabbling into that too much, I don't like that much. Um, this looks like the shrine's main building. You have no business here. Wow. Okay. Well, psh, says you. I think, isn't there a way to access? Yes. You can just access the menu from a button push. 
every day is great at your genus. I'm waiting for my dad. He said he's gonna come get us. Okay. Oh, that's right, because I can't leave. I heard something happened, but what? I've never seen this town so filled with policemen and unrest. It's starting to scare me a little, so I just called my husband to come pick us up. You must be a student at Yasugami High. It would be terrible if anything happened to you, so maybe you should hurry on home. Elevator's currently being inspected. Uh, okay, so nothing much here either. Oh wait, I could go to the food court? Uh, let's go to the Samagawa floodplain. You must be a student of Yasugami High. You should head straight home for today. I keep hearing the police sirens today. I'm not used to all that noise. It's really unsettling. Oh, we'll get there in a second. It's so hard not to sing along. <laughs> I don't know why, but the clicks of his feet are very cathartic. <laughs> yay, the fishing! I say yay, but the fishing in this game is iffy at best. Isn't this river something? It's called the Samegawa, and it has tons of fish. It's a wonderful, beautiful river. I keep seeing police cars zooming by today. Was there some kind of accident? Yes. You see the shadows of fish beneath the water's surface. If you had a fishing rod, you may be able to fish here. But I don't. Alright, let's go home. There's a scooter parked in front of the house. You can kind of travel a little bit here. There's an empty patch of dirt in the open space next to the house. And it was terrible! I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me. It's such a dangerous world these days. I can't even relax when I go out shopping. And I was going to buy some tiny soul tomato for a dinner tonight, too. What now? Oh, that's no problem. Here, you can have some that I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone can start a home garden. As long as they have some unused land to work with. You take that spot next to the Dojima place, for example. That's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Oh my, is that so? If they start a home garden too, does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? <laughs> well, if that ain't foreshadowing, I don't know what is. It will become evening when you return home. Let's go. We can't buy anything or fight yet, so we'll just go home. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Oh, Nanako. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> It'll be all right. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. <laughs> Who is that little... <laughs> it's that little frog, dude. It seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Asagami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Her affair with the local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. 
They found her on the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. And it goes looking at you expectantly. Your Juness. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. It seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. Aw, she's still cute. Whoa! Alright, it's on TV. Oh, it's another quiz show. When is Dad coming home? Nanako keeps looking towards the TV with a worried expression. You should leave her alone. Aw. Oh, yes, this jam. What's in the fridge? Nothing catches your eye. Oh. Kitchen's in a sorry state. You're still tired from getting used to your new life. You shouldn't be walking around outside. Says who? I guess it's time to rest. <laughs> 